Reprehensible is the word that the White House chose today to describe yet another set of pictures showing U.S. troops abusing the bodies of enemy forces in Afghanistan. David Martin has that story. They are literally the pictures the Pentagon didn't want you to see. American soldiers posing with the dismembered remains of enemy suicide bombers. Published by the Los Angeles Times despite pleas from Defense Secretary Panetta. We had urged the LA Times not to, not to run those photos. And the reason for that is those kinds of photos are used by the enemy to incite violence. Army investigators have had the photos for about a month and do not doubt their authenticity. Taken two years ago, they show paratroopers from the 82nd Airborne, most of whom have been identified and are under investigation for violating an order governing the conduct of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. According to the L.A. Times, the photos came from a soldier who said they are evidence of a breakdown in discipline that endangered the lives of troops. They are the latest in a string of blows to the American image in Afghanistan. In January, a video surfaced of Marine snipers urinating on dead bodies. Both sets of images stand as testament to the dehumanizing effect of war. This is war. And I know that war is ugly and it's violent. And I know that young people sometimes caught up in the moment uh, make some very foolish decisions. There was also the inadvertent burning of the Koran, which set off anti-American protests and the infamous case of Sergeant Robert Bales, charged with murdering 17 Afghan civilians. But the war grinds on. The unit those paratroopers belong to is already back in Afghanistan for another tour of duty. David, thank you. We contacted the LA Times today and they told us that they decided that publishing those photos would, quote, fulfill our obligation to our readers to report vigorously and impartially on all aspects of the American mission in Afghanistan.